Hey, what's up, guitar players and traders? Welcome back to On The Bench. I'm John, and this is Play and Trade Guitars, where we play it and trade it. Before we can trade it, we need to put it on the bench and clean it up. And I've got something special to show you that I just bought in. This is a 1979 Gibson GK55. Less than a thousand of these in existence. Only made 1979, 1980, 1981. So kind of a quirky Norlin era model that was made at the Kalamazoo plant in Michigan. GK stands for Gibson Kalamazoo. So at the top, hit like and subscribe. With On The Bench, you always have the opportunity to weigh in with your knowledge. So if you know something about this guitar and want to share with us, please do so in the comments. That's our favorite part of this series. We're gonna take this guitar and go from dusty dirty to this. Clean, sparkling clean. The 79 Gibson GK55 has a large style 70s Gibson headstock. We have a rosewood fretboard with dot inlays, 21 frets, a teardrop burst, thinner slab of wood, a characteristic bolt-on neck, very unusual for Gibson but uh, that's what they did with these models. All right, let's take this guitar apart, clean it up, and put it back together so that we can plug it in and play it. All right, let's get these nasty tetanus-inducing strings off here. Here's a look at that bridge. Made in Germany on there. All right, here's my favorite part about this guitar. So the gentleman I bought it from owned a series of car dealerships. And in 1985, someone looking for a used car came in and said, listen, I don't have the cash, but I'll put this as a down payment. And uh, the guy accepted. Start cutting through this grind here. Start up top and get this truss right cover off. Right Move right on down, start cleaning off this fretboard. Baptize all the way up, and then over. And let that Deodario hydrate settle in. The center of this knob is actually stuck to the shaft. This is a knob puller. I love this thing. Watch this. I've never seen that happen. Look at that. The plastic is still stuck on the shaft. It's a mess. Yikes. So I have never... <laughs> So of course I go to show you my new knob pulling toy that I've never had a problem with and these knobs, whatever plastic they use in the late 70s are so deteriorated. So I do see some deterioration a little bit on the um, pickup ring here. It's actually like squat, it's kind of interesting. The fretboard slab is like butted up to the pickup ring to the point that it's bending it. It's pretty wild. This one seems to be in better shape so we'll take a look at this pickup. There's that route. Patent number 2737642. Right, so I think actually what I want to do now is pull the neck off and take a look at that because it's really odd to see a Gibson with a bolt-on neck. Hold that plate with your thumb so it doesn't go crashing down on you. And then we'll carefully turn this and it's going to want to come right out. Wow. They've got this like shim piece here. Pretty thick neck. Look at that thing. There's a Y in there and a number two. Impressed. You can actually see that that metal mesh shim has really pushed its way into the wood to leave a pattern. You can actually peek back in there into the neck pickup cavity. It's exposed. And yeah, I mean, you can see how, again, this neck butts right into the neck pickup ring, pushing it physically in. All right, so here comes that control panel. It's like a burgundy, 70s burgundy, purple barf color. Looks like the color of a library chair. And then this is an odd shaped three-way pickup selector cover, oval. Oh boy, look at this. <laughs> this looks good, we got hot codes, 137, Seven nine, so it's a 79. 20% 100 volt cap. 
Whoa, it's a double decker pot? What the heck is going on here? Look at this thing. It's a double decker pot. That is a strange pot. I have never seen a double decker pot like that. Diodario XL 110s. It's a good start. I can live with that. Sweet. All right, let's wrap up with some measurements and pray that that three-way selector is gonna work okay. Cause that could be some old electrical tape. I don't wanna go pull that crud off of there. Here's our moment of truth, I suppose. Holy cow, 15.2, hot, 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 nice. 15.1 neck, 7.8 pounds. 111 16 inch nut. Look how well that rosewood condition and those frets are gleaming, but yeah, this guitar is done. But I hope you like this edition of On the Bench. Drop a comment and let us know what you think. Thanks for watching. I'm John from Play and Trade Guitars, where we play it and trade it. Drop a comment, let us know what you think. Make sure you hit subscribe. Subscribe to Play and Trade Guitars before we hit 5,000 subscribers, and you're in to win the Wayne's World Guitar Giveaway. We're giving away a 91 Fender Strat, and uh, you can check out our channel for more information. Links in the description below. Thanks for watching. You guys are awesome. Thanks for being part of Play and Trade Guitars. I'm John. Let's plug it in and play. Thank you